Hey YouTube, how you doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Okay, so remember I was telling you guys about the rotary valve and um, how it works and all that type of stuff. Well, now I can actually show you. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little quick demo on how the rotary valve works. So you guys can get an idea of the operation. Right now it's closed and the crankshaft is at bottom, uh, bottom dead center. Here's the piston right here. This ain't the one I close over, but it fits over here over it like so and when the piston moves up it creates a suction underneath okay a vacuum if you will and sucks it in so when the when the crankshaft starts to move I don't know if you can see that now let's see if I can get you a better view on that rotary valve all right right now you can see the rotary valve is completely closed when the piston moves upwards, so we're gonna rotate it until it starts to move. It's gonna to start to open, right there it starts to open. Okay, as the piston's moving upward. So the piston's moving up. The valve is completely open. See right here where it starts to open? Piston's moving up. Right now it's suction, sucking the fuel and air mixture through the, um, the intake, okay, through the valve underneath the piston and it's going to do that all the way until it gets to the top okay when it gets to the top it's going to just when the crankshaft just starts to go past top dead center it's just starting to close now the reason for this is as the piston's moving down the valve closes now what it's doing is remember before when the um let's see if i can shrink this down again this phone is so hard to operate. Can't even begin to tell you. All right, hold on. Give me a second. Okay. All right. So, a minute ago, I just told you that the piston. Yeah, moving in the position here for a second. So before the piston was sucking the fuel up. Now the bottom part of the piston is actually compressing the fuel and air mixture in the crankcase and is now, as it's going down again, okay, it is pushing the fuel and air up into these transfer ports and into the ones that are inside the cylinder and on top of the piston. That's how your fuel gets to the top of your piston. Now, this happens at the exact same time as the stroke before it already had fuel on top of the piston, and at that point, the ignition would fire and, and drives the piston down. And that's why this thing's like a two-stroke, because two strokes happen at the exact same time. And it pretty much fires every other, every other revolution. Every revolution it fires. And that's what makes these things so powerful. Okay, is because they're multitasking. <coughs> in other words, when the piston is coming up to compress the fuel and air mixture that's already in the chamber, okay, when it's when it's going up to do that, at the same time the bottom part of the piston is sucking in air and fuel. So right now it's compressed, bang, and it's pushing down. So now what's happening is as the as the um, explosion happens that's drive the power stroke is actually driving the piston down it's driving the piston down so fast it's actually pushing more air and fuel up and into the cylinder and that's why I was saying a lot of the stuff gets lost off the tailpipe because this happens extremely fast so that's ex my explanation on how the rotary valve works and um, why these engines are so awesome because it's actually multitasking doing two things at the same time every time whether it's doing intake and um, power stroke or intake and compression, they're, they're all happening at the same exact time. So like the exhaust, um, what do you call it? Yeah, the exhaust is open and the intake is open at the same time, pushing it out. They're two stroke. They're doing two things at the same time. So I just figured I'd give you a show you how the um, the rotary valve worked. It's pretty neat, and you think about how fast it happens. It happens pretty quick. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.